go. And here it is. Part part whatever of our Christmas special. I don't know what order this stuff's going in yet. Um, I'm doing a bunch of stuff. But Aaron, would you like to introduce introduce our guests? Yeah. Well, first off, cheers. Cheers. All, cheers. Right. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm. Get that horn. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you look like a when you drink it out of it, you look like you're wearing a plague doctor mask. That thing looks insane. <laughs> Your nose. Like a unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry. Oh, I figured this out. Are this you? is my mom and dad. Um, I don't really know what else to say, really. <laughs> um, I love them. They are the reason that I pretty much, you know, exist. Got into music. Start play, yeah. Yeah. Exist, first of all, I don't really know what to start with it. Start at the beginning. Sorry. Yeah. So, so May 6th, 1994. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't know. Like, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Catching the music, and now they're on the podcast. This is outstanding. Thank you guys so much for willing to uh, be on this, this crazy thing that we started. Uh, it really means a lot. It's uh, outstanding. Um, so I guess uh, Aaron has told me. Uh, I guess I want to start by asking, like, what uh, uh, Aaron told me. We, we've been talking a lot lately about like uh, in the new year, sometime probably in January. Him and I are gonna do uh, like the ancestry.com thing, um, and then talk about that, like the results and stuff on the show. So I was curious about like what your guys' backgrounds were and and uh, where you guys are from. Uh, I'm from Lansing. All right. Grew up in Lansing, uh, right by Sparrow Hospital. Um, mom's from Lansing. Dad was from Kentucky. Southern dude. Hmm. Uh, and um, yeah, we moved out here when Aaron was a kid, 27 years ago. Aaron was about four months old. We moved out here to Williamston. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's got a huge Italian family. <laughs> and, yeah, I come from third. There's 13 in my family. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, how far back? Look, uh, was it like your or or was it your grandparents that? Well, how far back did you guys come from Italy? Uh, it would have been my my grandparents. Okay, wow. So not that far. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. In the uh, um, after World War One, probably. Wow. They came here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Aaron, Aaron has told me quite a bit about that. And I didn't know that until recently. And I was like, they got any good uh, pizza sauce recipes? I can whip up a pretty good pizza, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've, <laughs> I've never, I've just recently during all this pandemic stuff, really gotten into cooking for the first time. And I haven't tried uh, to do my own homemade pizza yet. And I've been thinking about it a lot. Oh Yeah. <laughs> Smoke up some stuff, though. Smoke up some. Oh yeah. Some real, you know, do we've, a proper. We've done quite a bit. Yeah, that's true. It's really good to use a um a stone if you're starting pizza for the first time mm. to go buy like a baking stone because those make killer pizzas uh, across. Okay, good to know. And they're so it's good to invest into them because they're they're really good and you can use them for other things just than pizza. But yeah, yeah. Awesome. They get seasoned. They get seasoned. Like a, you know? like, yeah. like a like a cast iron kind of. Yeah, but stone. It's a stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But, but it does end up seasoning like a cast iron does. Yeah, yeah. I so. just got a whole bunch of cast iron, so I've been using that. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We get some. We get some grilling tips. We get some, you know, <laughs> real insight. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Aaron, where, where where would you like to start? Oh man, um, uh, I don't know. We can go with the. Uh, we can go with the the mute. Let's. Where I'm from. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how free flowing this is. We just kind of go and things get missed. So yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I came from my mom. I came from my mom. <laughs> just like Aaron came. No, I. I was 
uh, born in Lansing, raised in Holt, graduated from Holt. Um, I'm the youngest of four, four children. So we had a very small family compared to his. Yeah. And uh, fun fact for you. <laughs> Uh, my oldest brother is the same age as my husband. Yeah. Huh. So we're 10 years apart in age. So oh, that's, wow. my oldest brother is 10 yeah. years apart from me. So yeah. I'm uh, I'm 13 years separated from my youngest sister. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she's uh she's out there tearing it up right now. She's working in the AmeriCorps program, doing like kind of it's like basically Peace Corps, but for America. Wow. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And she actually just turned, Aaron, she just turned uh, 19 yesterday. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Been there. <laughs> Crazy. Um, be, be asking you for drinks before you know it. <laughs> oh, oh, she already has. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've already hooked her up. Don't worry. <laughs> um, well, I, was, I, guess, I guess to kind of get into it, you know, the whole Christmas episode, like the main the main reason we wanted to do this was that, you know, with, with the kind of year that it's been and with, you know, everything kind of being all over the place and, and family being kind of far away and stuff, we just kind of figured, you know, the, the two people or the, you know, people that we haven't had on yet are yeah. the most important. So <laughs> just wanted to, you know, take the time to kind of get into some stories and maybe, you know, mm. uh, some Christmas oh, stories. Man. Oh, please do. Well, that's uh, already happened. So. <laughs> uh, but, well, yeah, too, though. Um, Aaron, uh, Aaron tells me, uh, I want to know about these. What, what was that story you were mentioning last night about Max Barr? Something oh, like yeah. that. All of your... Max Barr? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wanna, I, I would, I'd love to know about like what your musical background and stuff like that. And then and, uh, Aaron told me a story uh, about someone getting kicked out of Max Barr. I'd love to hear <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, that's been around a long time. That was mm -hmm. that was the first place that I got served as a minor at like 18 years old down here at Max Bar. But <laughs> well, what was the drinking and age then? It was it was 21, and then when I hit 18, it, the drinking age switched to 18, and then when I then when I turned 21, it switched back to 21. Oh, so I like never so I never really missed out type deal i was able to Line but i kind of drinking shortly after 21 so a, a, a long night at the green door <laughs> yeah, that sort of, yeah that that sort of uh ended my drinking career but yeah we used to you know max bar we used to hang out there but uh oh i i you know started playing in in bands in like high school you know uh and then uh, hooked up with some friends out in DeWitt. We we played around quite a bit. Uh, we had a good repertoire. We we played in Lansing, Flint, Jackson. You know, uh, we we did quite a bit for I don't know, a few years. And uh, so, but now we're, you know, we uh, we only get together once every blue moon <laughs> and play oldies, man. You know, but. So who got kicked out of Max Bar? Oh, that was yeah, that was a yeah, a buddy of mine that yeah, he, the bouncer tossed him out of Max Bar and because he because he thought he could like fight him or something. Well, he was, well, he, he told yeah, because he's you know my buddy's six four, you know, and so he he thought that uh, you know the the bouncer was was booting everybody out and and he thought he was going to come up there and and give the bouncer a hard time. Well. The bouncer was like a football player for MSU, and he like hit him twice, and down he went. You know, Ooh. and everybody just kind of, everybody was just kind of that kind of ended it all. Everybody's like, "Oh shoot, man, I guess it's all time to go oh, home." So, crack up. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you know, he he thought he was gonna take on the bouncer, and found out that that wasn't gonna quite work for him. So, yeah. <laughs> but the funny thing about Max Barr is, is that. A lot of the walls that are there, some of the walls that are there, the paintings and stuff, have been there since 74, 75 years old. You go in there, or 75, 1975, you go in there and you see some of that old stuff on the wall. Well, that's like original architecture that's in there. So, wow. 
So it's a bit like a museum. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think they just, yeah. just recently they pulled it back and like took a whole bunch of all the stuff off the walls and tried to like, I don't know, I think it was like during the, when it was all shut down. Yeah, but, right at the beginning. Uh, what if it's still like kind of in there? So well, I wonder yeah. if they plan to reopen after all this. I, or um, Aaron and I have heard a r plenty of rumors at this point that the loft will not be reopening. We haven't heard anything yet about Max. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I'm praying that right. it's because, because yeah, without the loft, Max is our last venue. Like that's all we have here in Lansing. So yeah. I, yeah, I that's really, it, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's very, you know, it's, it's, it's the, yeah, city it's, landmark, man. Yes, yes. To me, it's very much like uh, Lansing's uh, Harbo's in a lot of ways. To me. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah. Harpo's is is very similar in a lot of ways to it. Uh, and I love both of those venues so much. What uh, um, so what? Uh, what's your what? What kind of uh, music got you to start playing? What's your favorite? You said oldies, but I mean, I got uh, Ozzy behind well. me. <laughs> Uh, well, I was a, you know, a Deep Purple. Yes. Uh, Deep Purple, uh, Ian Pace, uh, Leslie West Mountain, uh, Jimi Hendrix, um, Jeff Back, Traffic, uh, you know, some of those guys, um, Spooky Tooth, uh, <laughs> Grateful Dead, you know, um, Little Feet, Little <laughs> George and Little Feet, you know, stuff like that. So, but I'm all over, man. I listen to, you know, the blues, uh, you know, um, Buddy Buddy Guy. Oh, dude. Yeah. You know, John Lee Hooker, Johnny Winter, of course, you know, was yeah. one of the one of the greats. Elvin Lee, mm -hmm. Elvin Lee 10 years after, you know, Humble Pie, stuff like that. So, but yeah, big Ian Pace fan when I was a youngster, man. I, I wanted to be Ian Pace, but never quite made it never <laughs> quite made it that, that far oh well, you guys you guys played woodstock though didn't you yeah you know. woodstock time uh, you. We, played the, we played the woodchuck <laughs> uh no we 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 had we had some good times you know uh the the guitar players that i played with uh in uh, the one band geneva they they had just monstrous stage gear you know and so everywhere we went was you know, you guys are too loud. And we've been asked to leave, you know, after the first set. You know, you guys are too loud. You got to leave, you know. And and we would say, you know, well, if you pay us our money, we'll leave, you know. But otherwise, we ain't leaving, you know. And so, so the one place in Jackson, yeah, they wanted us to leave. And all the people were like, ah, if you kick them out, we're all leaving, you know. So, so they let us stay. And we turned down for, you know, about the first song of the second set. And then we cranked it up. And. <laughs> yeah they they were they were nuts they always wanted to be you know we had the giant pa and all that nonsense that's um, awesome being yeah, too loud always, is never always a bad problem. loud man but we played like eric clapton acdc judas priest um uh, we played up uh, you know we even played some old muddy waters and stuff and wow we played a lot of different stuff so but it was it was fun have you uh have you listened to any of that new ACDC album that just came out yet? No, uh, -uh sure. it's it's fantastic. Hey, yeah, huh. like, I didn't know there was one. Yeah, yep, first uh, one like what was it, fifteen well, years who, or something. Who's no, it it's the it's the uh, uh, well Malcolm Young of course has passed away, but um right. so it's his uh nephew filling in the bass yeah. shoes, and then uh, it's the rest of the Back in Black lineup. Oh wow! Like, yeah. Bill Rudd. Yes. Was Bill Rudd? Yeah, Bill Rudd's yes. back in black. Yep. yep. And Johnson, of course. Yep. Huh. Oh, yeah. that's cool. It's it's absolutely fantastic. I was really blown away by it. And yeah, it's the first one I think in I think in like eight years, I want to say. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking more than that. Uh, yeah. uh, but it is huh. fantastic. Why did you tell me this? Yeah. <laughs> what I I thought we you were know talking. I like well, these I, these I, these like these at first I was like when we were talking about like the first time like being on the episode and stuff i was like you were like well i don't i don't know what music like like i don't know like what's talking about music wise and i was like well you and bj are probably like 
equally into ACDC. And it's <laughs> like, the more than I know, yeah. <laughs> more than I am. So oh, I feel God. like I we talked about it at least. But <laughs> I, I See, love I, that band. Yeah, I appreciate it more now. There are my high school days. Yeah. My honestly, mine too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> might sound crazy, but I'm dead serious. I was the only one in my high school with an ACDC t shirt every day. Um, yeah. but yeah, but that, I highly recommend that new album. It is, it is fantastic. Uh, what you got, you got music background too. We got into it. Yeah, so you know, it was about your music. Background. Yeah, but I yeah. didn't play in a band, <laughs> but it. Sing it some. I sang. I've sang. Writings. I sang for years. I had three and a half years of voice lessons through LCC oh, wow. when I was in high school. Um, wow. I took piano, but I never, I never stuck with it. Um, kind of re- regretfully that I didn't. Now I hated it. Then it was kind of like forced on me, um, and so then I quit it. But. You know that happens so <laughs> yeah. but yeah I, I sang for a lot of years um i wasn't in choir for very long in in high school because i pretty much once i hit my sophomore year i was able to work co-op and i hated school so much that i didn't want to be there so in choir in i school. worked <laughs> and so i was only in in high school until like 11 every day from like 8 to 11 and then i was gone to my job oh wow um so i worked um from the time you know i was like in 10th grade all the way through my senior year and stuff so but i sang a lot in church i was born and raised going to church my whole life and so i sang a lot in church was in a lot of musicals and Christmas plays and programs and stuff. Um, I've only sang at one funeral in my life and I swore I would never do it again. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be talk about a tough crowd. Yeah. yeah. Well, the only reason I did it is because it was for my mom's best friend and her and I, you know, we've known her all my life and her father passed away and I didn't even know the guy and I could barely make it through the song Mm -hmm. because that's just, I'm just a sensitive person like that. So, but yeah, that was horrible and I would never do that again. But um, I've sang in a a ton of weddings, uh, but I haven't, I haven't sang in several years now. And, um, you know, you know, kids, kids, man, they do that to you. You can't, can't do the things you hey you used to do when you got hey <laughs> i feel like i i took that and the, like because i uh, a lot of times i think that like the the performance side of things is like you know but like you guys have always done it or yeah. just a variation of it and yeah, I can't, it off. yeah and well and since going through like cancer treatments last year and stuff you know that chemo stuff is serious business and it does a lot of damage to your nerves and basically to your entire body Mm -hmm. and it did do things to my like vocal cords and you know because because while i was going through treatment and stuff like i my voice was not as strong and it was weak and and i still have moments of that now even though i'm recovered but um that's it does permanent damage you know to your body and i think you know that's you know something that happened too so yeah that definitely factors in um you sticking to sing singing in the shower now <laughs> <laughs> no i was just trying to lighten the moment <laughs> i've heard you do that though <laughs> what <laughs> you sing in the shower we all sing in the shower no, all sing in the shower. I'm, uh. when i'm in the shower i close my eyes i'm in front of fifty thousand people like my roommate <laughs> My roommate's like, what the hell is going on in there? <laughs> it's got good acoustics, man. You got good acoustics yeah. in the back. I sing more in the car than I do in the shower. Oh, yeah. me too. Oh, I was <laughs> I was driving around all night tonight like a chicken with its head cut off, running around getting Christmas stuff, blasting Trans-Siberian Orchestra as loud as it can go, screaming at the top of my lungs. So 100% in the car every time. 
Right. My favorite song to have the windows rolled down and yes. it cranked up is um, Deja Vu Do by Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Ooh. That yeah. is the bomb. Yeah. When it's nice outside, oh. that's what I like to do. See, uh, see uh, the listening, perhaps. Thank you. Listening. <laughs> thank you, Aaron. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um what are so yeah like we are uh we are here it is it is chris it is right now christmas eve's eve uh yeah. december 23rd and oh. um i have to ask what are what were some of your guys's uh like favorite christmas memories or traditions growing up and stuff like that that you guys uh that you guys did well um when aaron and his sister were little you know we we really enjoyed the um playing up the sand a bit yeah and we did Got good we did it. pretty good at that <laughs> a few times or two um and especially like the same for the easter bunny and you know one year um for the easter bunny we did um i took some fur from the cat's brush that i brush her with and I like spread little clumps of fur all through the house. And then I like <laughs> threw pieces of candy by the fur and made, and then did we use powder? I don't think, I don't remember for that. But... Tracks or something, no, but I to make know. it look like <laughs> the cat was being chased by the Easter bunny. Oh yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was a good one. Was... <laughs> but no, we always, you know, we usually let on Christmas Eve, we would have, uh, like pizza for dinner or make something and then we would go drive around and look at lights and have hot chocolate and stuff yeah and then come home and they would each get to open one gift and wow. then pretty much we would send them to bed as early as possible so that we could spend the rest of the night yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. hanging out for christmas so. Eve ourselves <laughs> Because it's about family, right? Yeah. About, you know. <laughs> oh, that's uh, fantastic. But we still, you know, to this day, we still try to go look at like, you know, on Christmas yeah. Eve every year. I don't, know, a lot more this year I don't know. It's been kind of hard, though, as the kids get older. You know, you kind of, you don't get to do some of the things you used to when they were little. And, yeah. you know, now Lissa doesn't live here. And. Um, and they they stopped falling for the the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, that's so, kind of put a damper so, you know, on we things. We can't we can't send Aaron to bed early. Well, that because <laughs> Santa's coming tonight. Well, for, one, for one, for one, because I won't do it. You know that. <laughs> uh, uh, well, there was no because like when we when we found out about. Santa Claus. I remember it was it was because you like wrote some letters. I think we oh, talked about yeah, this before. Yeah, yeah. We uh they they wrote us letters for like we I don't know, I don't remember what happened. There was something like well they would always write letters to Santa, but yeah. we would never send them anywhere. I would just keep them. Yeah. So so we like one year. I, I don't know if it was like one year. It was like multiple. Like they decided to write back. I think it was my sister that was looking at it and being like. Why does Santa's handwriting look like Dad's? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, oh, I get it. Okay. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> or maybe it was. Maybe Calm down, was Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Here's a story about Zane's older brother. Is we, we got him something for Christmas. Zane's older brother. I mean, Zane, Aaron's older brother, Zane. Sorry. <laughs> Aaron's older brother Zane, we got him something for Christmas that broke and we had to take it back and we're standing in line to take it back. And all of a sudden the light bulb went off in his head and he looked at me and said, Santa's not real. This toy came from here. We're bringing it back to here. Santa's not real, is he? <laughs> and so I was like, nope, he's not. That's right, this came from here. Gigs up, man, you know now, so. <laughs> uh, that was funny. I never knew that. Honestly, yeah, I don't think I ever. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> God, that is so funny. How did you? When did? So was it the the handwriting thing? Is when you found out, Aaron? 
Uh, yeah, it, it must have been because that's the only thing I can okay. remember. But like, other than like, I <laughs> there was I think it was like a few years before it or whatever. But I remember like, I don't know, sitting somewhere and hearing like Zane say some stuff, and you're like, Shh, like yeah. stop, like, <laughs> like he's like, oh, you didn't tell him yet. We're like, tell him what? And you're like, nothing. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, it's okay. I still believe in Santa. So the older kids like to spoil it for the little ones. Right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's a great well, I always I always as far as like like traditions or like memories and stuff, like I always I don't know, a lot of like the, the earlier like you know, bigger family Christmas parties and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we every little, year. Yeah. His family does um it's always the Sunday before Christmas. Wow. Oh. They get together and it's like sixty to eighty people. Yeah. Now it is between brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. <laughs> that is you won't be around with that. <laughs> but you know, it's like a potluck and and they have one of the brothers plays Santa for like the really little kids yeah. and they do games and everybody complains about who's running it and how they're doing it. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> no. uh, we didn't, we didn't have it one year and then all of a sudden it was like a big thing. It was like, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, those were, those were always fun to me. I think it was more like more so when I was little, like just cause it was, yeah. you know. And so then my family good. always tried to get together. Well, when, when my mom and dad were alive, we would always do something with my side too, usually on Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. Um, at somebody's house, one yeah. of my brothers yeah. and sisters or our house, they'd come and we'd have dinner or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but now that my parents are gone, um, we have gotten together at my nephew's house, but um, obviously we're not this year. So, and really, you know, like, other than weddings and funerals that and christmas time is the only time we see all of his family together because yeah. they're scattered because they're over. scattered yeah <laughs> and graduations too yeah um special occasions yeah. yeah well well hey i mean i know uh yeah this this year yeah i'm used to um i'm used to large christmas eves and christmases with family because christmas eve is my dad's side traditionally and then christmas day we go down to Detroit and visit my mom's side. Um, uh, but obviously this year can't happen. But Aaron, here's something. Uh, this is what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to uh, go to my parents' house and I'm going to hook up this laptop and try to get everybody on the family on Zoom and put it you know, into the computer. So that's oh. something that, you know, has blown up this year that, you know, it, it, it sucks. It sucks. I hate not being able to see everyone, but. Uh, yeah. but still like, even, even just if we could get them on camera for a minute, it, it would still, I feel like be, it's at least something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. We just did, to get to we say. A, yeah. We did a smaller like game night kind of thing like a few weeks ago to kind of do the same sort of thing. So, nice. Yeah. The problem is the more people you get, the harder it is to hear everybody. Yeah. That's true. You know, <laughs> and crazy. I just, I like to just sit back and just listen to people because it's <laughs> so funny sometimes yeah here yeah especially when you have a talkative loud ass family <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah his sisters can be quite the yeah yeah loud. loud bunch oh so are mine so are mine <laughs> <laughs> um so all right uh let's see what else oh yeah so now this is something i wanted to ask um in light of of this year um so wait yeah no, so okay so normally you said you do the the big uh family christmas the sunday before um obviously that couldn't happen this year uh so how ha like how uh how do i ask this how has how are things different for you guys this year considering the pandemic in, during the holidays and all that stuff like because i know it's got to be hard for like in a different way than it is for like Aaron and I, you know what I mean? It's gotta be kind of different for you guys. And I'm just wondering like, how, how, yeah, how is it, how is it different for you guys this year? Well, probably more phone, phone calls 
Okay. Every, <laughs> you know, yeah. hey, how's it going? Merry Christmas. You know, send out cards to people. Yeah. Well, and we're doing a Zoom call, I think, with with one of my brothers and his family on yeah. Christmas Day. So nice. We've done some of those. Yeah. Um, and and we did one on Thanksgiving with my whole family. Um, so. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Thank God for the thank God for the Zoom technology. You know, really. You know, at this oh. time. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank like <laughs> without Zoom. This podcast is still on audio, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made some quite a bit of strides with that this year. That was kind of that's definitely helped me quite a bit as far as just being oh. able to, you know, yeah, have that constant see some faces, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. talk to some people, absolutely. Yeah, in a world where you know, would Aaron, Aaron and I's main social interaction with other humans is either work or concerts, and both of those yeah. are gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, speaking of concerts, what do you guys have like a f- favorite like concert you've ever been to? Good oh, question. Man. Good question. Well, that question ain't for me. So, uh, well, I, I, Journey. I, I was there. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I have been to an awesome concert journey. Either yeah. either that or TSO because yeah, yeah. Trans Siberian was cool. Yeah. You ha- you've seen Trans Siberian? Yeah, yeah. We got we got them tickets like For a couple Christmas. years ago. Yeah. yeah, Aaron and Melissa got us tickets a few years back. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. where uh where did you see them at? Uh, was... we were on the floor. Yeah, but we seen. But them we at, were uh, like at the three palace. Quarters, mm-hmm. at palace. Yeah, Hills. three on the yeah. floor, like yeah, a third of the way back. Or yeah. Oh, oh, it was that killer, is... man. I've seen yeah. them. Yeah, I, I I've seen them. The palace was the first place I ever saw them too. And uh, yeah, man, that is that is one of the best shows ever like i love the trans-siberian orchestra that light show is yep. unreal yeah well San- santana's a good show too man i've Ooh. seen santana about five times Ooh. they're awesome yeah oh, that's that's sweet and you said you said, and you said journey we, oh yeah, yeah we, we went, went to journey we went to journey and uh doobie brothers and dave mason oh. yeah yeah it was a good show yeah man. that was good. really good yeah, it was a great We're, lineup, man. That was at DT. That was at DT. Yeah. Outside, yeah. yeah oh, totally. On the hill, sitting on the hill. Oh, yeah, I was kidding. So about the. Uh, oh, but the best part <laughs> was beforehand in the parking lot, we watching can, everybody. Oh yeah, watching. we can we can relate to this story. By the way, there was this girl. <laughs> I we I just liked people watch. We're sitting there. And there was this lady, she was all dressed to the nines or whatever, and she had her stilettos on and her big old blonde hair and a tight outfit or whatever. And she's walking around with a bucket of KFC chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she's on her cell phone trying to find the people that she was supposed to meet up with. And it was so funny because I I told Rick, I was like, I swear these people, they don't want her to come to their to where they're at because <laughs> she walked around for a good like hour just like looking for her group you know <laughs> well she was like 45 dressed like a 20 year old was the problem? <laughs> Hot, big big you know heels and like like sue was saying short skirt and just and i was yeah. like and just hey, surely well, they don't want her to come yeah. they don't want her chicken and the bucket of kentucky fried chicken because <laughs> they just uh, want it they're probably scoping her out from a ways away watching her laughing plus you know? it matched her outfit remember she was dressed in like white and red and the bucket was like white and red man. <laughs> she was like she was all color coordinated man it was hilarious yeah oh, uh, that is hysterical that was good entertainment that's his hyster- and, and i know too um uh I know because uh, you and Aaron went to that Deep Purple Judas pre-show a few yeah, years back. Because I, 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 I went to the same show, but a couple of days later when they were in uh, at the uh, in Sterling Heights, and you guys went to the Soaring Eagle. Yeah, yeah. Soaring Eagle. Yeah, that was good. What yeah. a show! Yeah. Unbelievable, man. Yeah. Rob, Rob Halford can still hit those notes. It's unbelievable. Like they. Oh no doubt. Yeah. yeah. That was it's, it's like 67 that day. Yeah, it was, that show. yeah, it was yeah that's that. right. I mean, it was cool. Yeah. It was cool. The only thing was is that Deep Purple, they had, you know, they had some big screens in the back. And when Deep Purple was on, they used them quite a bit, you know. Yeah. But uh, when Judas Priest was on, 
it must have been Purple's equipment. When Judas Priest was on, they they barely used him at all, you know, which would have been cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was good. To, it's still good to see him, but but you know, having the big screens off to the side because they were doing some close ups, you know, and yeah, and, and, uh, and some of like the, the weird like video effects too. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. They were doing a bit of a light show with it and different yeah. stuff, you know, and, and they didn't do that for for Priest, but they were still. Well, they still were good. I think they were just like two different shows, really. It's like Priest is like fire and like the traditional like heavy metal stuff. Well, yeah. And then Deep Purple is kind of the a little more. Yeah. 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 A little more progressive. Well, and we went to a concert at the casino too. We went to see Allman Brothers. The Neville Brothers. Or Neville Brothers. The Neville Brothers. <laughs> we saw the Allman Brothers and Little Feet way back, remember? Yeah. Yeah, at the Palace. Yeah, that was a good show. Yeah. But the Neville Brothers was I I just love that kind of music. Well that was that was a really good concert. Back in the day, our old bass player, he he had season tickets to um, you know, it was Pine Knob at the time, but it's now DTE. And he would get season tickets like five years in a row. He had the same seats, about eight rows back, right dead center on the stage. Oh. So we saw Tom Petty, I saw Chicago. Mm. I saw Stevie Winwood. I saw um, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Greg Allman. I uh, saw the saw um, Santana like five times. Uh, gosh, who else? So this dude didn't have a girlfriend, did he? It was Bob Barber. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Bob Barber. So he bought, he bought, oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. <laughs> He bought four, <laughs> but every year he would get the same seats, four, four tickets, four seats, right at the same spot for like four or five years. So we would just, you know, we would just go see, you know. It was did. something like that Anytime, cost. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Nowadays. Yeah. Totally. Now, yeah. Man. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. Probably couldn't afford that now. <laughs> yeah, they were probably like 25 bucks a seat back then. You know, yeah. Here. Those <laughs> down there down front where we were at were you know they're probably 130 50 dollar seats now oh yeah oh so they what? are they are <laughs> yeah yeah no that's well Aaron? unless you get scalper prices and it's like a thousand dollars yeah 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 that's yeah. all other thing that's <laughs> saw the blues twice oh blues that was killer man <laughs> they were awesome i can't stand them yeah. That that uh no one of the ones uh one of actually one of the bands that my dad introduced me to uh that I love and adore to this day uh that I never got to see and he actually came to Pine Knob just a few months before he passed away and I I I wanted to go I can't remember why I just didn't and I regret it to this day is Tom Petty I adore Tom yeah. Petty and I I, I, I wish I'd seen him. Back. I saw them way back, you know, back when it was Tom Petty and the Heartbreak. Oh. Yeah, they were great. They were great because I wasn't really a big Tom Petty fan mm -hmm. until I saw him. You know, yeah. and then I was like, oh my gosh, these guys are awesome, man. Yep. Yeah. That kid. Another, yeah. one, another one who was good that uh, um, I'm not, I wasn't like a huge fan of that in concert was awesome was James Taylor, man. James oh. Taylor was killer to see, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, he put on a real good show. Yeah. yeah. Seeing them, oh. seeing them live can change the game. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, so all right. Um. So I, I mean, we believe it or not, we've already been going for forty-five minutes. So I don't, I don't want to take up your guys' whole night or anything. Um. No problem. But we do. I do got a few, a few more quick ones that I want to end on. I. Uh, do you guys? Uh, what are? What's your like? Do you have a, a favorite like Christmas music or Christmas mu movies? That you like to listen to or watch every year? Uh, I do. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You're ready well, for some Hallmark movies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have asked, man. Have... No, I'm just not all of them. No. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so only, movies. It's only funny because we were making a joke about it last night. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, movies. You know, I have to watch Elf. I have to watch the Christmas. Uh, vac Christmas Vacation. Um, I like The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Yes. He does an awesome Grinch. Yeah. It's my favorite. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? Jim Carrey's, though. Jim Carrey's, Jim, though. What's, Jim one, Carrey's? what's the one we watched with the Schwarzenegger? Oh, Jingle oh, All the Way. Jingle All the Way. 
Yeah, we watched that a lot when was... when he was little, man. He was like word for word on that movie. I yeah. still am. Was... Yeah. I'm a deck your halls bub. He used to say that all the time when he was little. I'm a deck your halls bub. <laughs> all the time. He loved yeah. that. Um, you got video of it, too, by the way. That you'll probably never see. But... Oh, no. Well, <laughs> Send that to me. Send that to me. I'll put it on YouTube. Well, see, the thing, the thing of it is, it's on, it's on VHS. And, you know, we'd have to. We can yeah. make this happen. We have the technology. <laughs> Believe it or not, Aaron was really high strong as a kid. The dude would not shut he up. He was man. into everything. Like oh, yeah. anything that had buttons, he had to touch. Well, and I yeah. can't believe that I didn't get arrested for child abuse for slapping his hands so many times because he kept messing with the VCR and the CD player and the <laughs> climb on the shelves on climb the entertainment the center to turn yeah. the stereo on stuff. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> He was crazy. Yeah. He was like out of control. He was just hyperactive all the time, running here and there. We couldn't get him to shut up. <laughs> he would not shut up. He'd talk all the time. And now he's and quiet. Melissa, and now oh, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. They, they, now he's quiet as a church mouse. Like, what? Yeah. yeah. And Melissa, she was real quiet and shy. And now we can't get her to shut up. Yeah. So they're like opposite of each yeah. other now. But anyway. <laughs> Um, music, Christmas music. I like the, I like the, I like a couple different things. Well, I like a wide variety of music. Like my Amazon music account is full of a wide genre. Like I've got country and gospel and disco, 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 disco was got my, disco on her phone. Was man. my like, uh, you know, R and B and heavy metal and rock yeah. and classical yeah. and just the whole wide range yeah. Yeah. um but, but christmas music um uh, my favorite is the old old mm. classical stuff or not classical yeah. but the older music um like bing crosby um, bing crosby yeah <laughs> um i really like r&b music you know the r&b the detroit motown christmas yeah. stuff yeah um, love that. And then, of course, TSO. Mm -hmm. um, so those are my go-tos for Christmas yeah. are those, you know, those ones. Mm -hmm. Not so much the modernized yeah. music that they make today, but the old classics. Christmas Story. I like that movie, too. Mm. You so shut your eye out, kid. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Christmas song is Father Christmas, give us your money. We got no time for you, all silly toys. We'll beat you up if you don't hand it over. Yeah, that's... Save all your toys for the little rich boys. <laughs> that's not attractive at all. <laughs> the kinks, man. You've heard that, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, See? <laughs> yeah, you... yeah that's, yeah. Well, that's on there now, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, phenomenal. So what it's like, man. It's great. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is beautiful. Um, well, uh, I guess, you know, all right. I, I really, I just got one last thing left here. Um, so, well, are we, are we, are we talking about some like, some like paranormal stuff? You want to ask the question? Is that what you're getting into or? It's like, it's like you've done this with me before or something. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to meet Professor, if he's a professor, Girl. Sasquatchman. <gasps> Sasquatchman. And I was coming here today thinking that I was going to get to meet him because I have loads of questions for him. Well, <laughs> the Sassman. Oh. oh. He's, uh, we, were, we were talking about this last night, too. He's, he's kind of everywhere and nowhere. Everywhere and nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like Bigfoot. Nah, he's yeah, like Bigfoot. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's so big like territory. So uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, but what? It, I mean, you know. Oh man. Got, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, well, it, well, it, 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 Aaron, Aaron explained to me last night that they uh, communicate uh, via mail. Like they send each other yeah. letters in the mail. <laughs> 
And so, well, you know, well, I mean, Santa Claus in that sense, I guess. In, a, in an effort to stay off the grid, you know, he's like, ah, you gotta, like, yeah. <laughs> he, don't, he, don't, he doesn't want to go viral. No, that's, that's, that's for the internet to decide. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, we totally should have gotten him on this episode. Uh, Dang it. Missed what opportunity. Kind of okay, well, what kind well, of questions, though? well, I just have a lot. So <laughs> maybe next time he's on, like, we could, like, converse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We could have, we could have, uh, we could have her call in. We could have her call in during the episode. Yeah, yeah. It'd be perfect. Yeah. Oh, we're putting, we're putting that together. The wheels are already turning. We are putting that together. All right. But <laughs> that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but yes, I do I do have I do have one final question that does relate to that. Um I have to do this. I always ask everybody the first time they're on the show, a side interest of mine outside of, you know, music and everything else. I am big big into the world of the paranormal. Um but I also like right, right here. Yeah. I, right. I always have the, I want to believe poster up. Um, and I always, it, it, because that's, that's kind of the way I approach it is, uh, is I do want to believe, but extraordinary claims also require extraordinary evidence. And, uh, and I, and I do, I go on a lot of ghost hunts and, uh, a lot of the, uh, places that you like, uh, a lot of the places you see on TV or whatever, you can like pay a ticket and they'll lock you in overnight. Um, and I've, I've done that a bunch of times at pretty much every available location in Michigan, except for one that I'm aware of. Um, so I, I, I love uh, of the world of the paranormal. I love going ghost hunting. I still have yet to see the extraordinary evidence that I'm looking for. Uh, so I always like to ask everybody new on the show, have you ever had any, th- any experience that you would describe as paranormal? No. No. Dang it. Really? No. No. Never heard a no. footstep or anything? Oh, no, I don't think so. No. You know, I, I worked in some I worked, I worked places. at the Capitol and that place is haunted. And and I used to have to go in on a Saturday mornings and on the weekends and check the um check the air handlers. And and you would hear, you know, like doors creaking and and things like that around there. But you know, there there's state police people in there too. So every time I would hear something, I'd like you know, run out and see if I could see somebody or, or anything, but uh, uh, but I never never actually really got the feeling where, you know, man, I I just you know seen something <laughs> out of the ordinary, you know. But I've heard a lot of stories. You know, there's what was there's that? four. I don't know if you know about the the four deaths that have happened at the Capitol. I am I am familiar. Yes. Oh. So yeah, so there's there's definitely, uh, and I've heard that many times that, that it is, but I never. You know, and I've been in there a lot, like I said, uh, by myself or with just maybe, a, you know, a couple of uh, state police people on the weekends and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I never really encountered anything that I thought was, uh, you know, too, too crazy and made me run out of there. <laughs> made was, me run out of there scared, but what yeah. Was, what was the one you were telling me about, like, the, there was, like, that old barn that you worked at and there was, like, a dog or something? Oh, like, hey, like some... well, I, here's another story that. Uh, I worked in a house. It was a farmer's house down in, um, down by Leslie. Okay. And uh, it was a big, big old farmhouse. And the electrician uh, was there and he was telling me about, uh, they had heard a little girl out on the porch singing and sounding like she was out there playing jacks. You know, the game jacks. Yeah. Out there tossing the ball, throwing jacks. Okay. So, uh, um, we were like, well, yeah, yeah, okay, sure, 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 you know. And so uh, a person who used to live in the house, he stopped by and he he, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, I got we got old pictures. We used to live in this house. Uh, we've got some pictures if you're looking for something to, to make, if you want something to go back to the original, you know, we I can get you some pictures and stuff, you know. And so that electrician said to him, dude, you think this place is haunted? And he said, oh, yeah. He said, there's constantly a little girl that plays out on the front porch that we would always hear out there playing on the front porch. And so he looked at me and he said, I told you, he said, I don't know this guy. And he was like, 
do we know each other? And he's like, second was going, no, we don't know each other. Of yeah. course not, you know. Yeah. But he's going, I told you, man. But when I was there, I never, I never heard anything or felt anything there. But uh, after that story and after the two of them guys talked, uh, I always, you know, I, I had to work down there by myself a lot too because the house was vacant stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'd always, you know, always had the radio up and I, you know, <laughs> like, ah, man, this is, I don't want to hear anything too freaky. So, but I never did, never did have anything down there. But that's, that was about the closest I came to, to hearing some stories where, you know, this is the place we were at. We worked there for quite a bit, you know. Yeah. That's about it. So no, no, like, uh, no, uh, you know, even outside of the realm of ghosts, like, no, like, have you ever seen anything in the sky or in the woods or anything like that? No, no, <laughs> no. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's, I think, I <laughs> and, I, and that's what I, and this, I've, 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 I've told, and like I said, I asked that question to every single guest that comes on for the first time. And uh, what I've found is it's a solid 50-50. 50% -50. 50 never experienced anything, 50% have. So it's yeah. completely understandable. Um, but uh, that's Aaron, do you have anything else? Any, any other topics uh, you want to go into or anything? We got your parents on for the first time ever. Yeah, well, I don't. I was. I was gonna. I was gonna like wrap it up somehow, unless you had something. No, else. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Let's do this. Uh, I don't know. I guess. I guess I'll kind of make it short. Um, you know, part of part of doing this was, you know, just to to be able to, you know, like I said, like save these conversations and to be able to kind of call back to it after, you know, however long. And, Forever. Um, for, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess like. You know, to kind of save myself from from the intro that happened where I was all off of it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I guess, I just wanted to say, you know, over especially over the last couple of years, like you know, just thank you guys for, for you know, the just believing in me. Thank you for you know support and for the you know just like encouraging me to to keep going and to you know to you know whether it be music or whether it be you know anything like you know job related or just you know anything just Podcasting. you know yeah any yeah anything really like that's what we do yo absolutely yeah. that's what we do yo. <laughs> you know and i know it was i know it was weird when we were talking about our first it was like well you know like try to like explain what we do on here which is kind of all over the place but you know we were kind of like what i was saying like we were talking about like the start of, you know the end of the year and stuff and just kind of you know thought about family and stuff and so i just, mm -hmm. just really just wanted to say you know thank you and uh, thanks for putting up with my bullshit for, <laughs> yeah. for the longest yeah. time and <laughs> so you know. when are you gonna move out well, <laughs> no. well I, right around this time when the pandemic is over yeah. and like you know I'm just kidding you can stay as long as you want to <laughs> oh man oh, I don't, that's that's really it like I don't do you guys right. well, this was cool man this was I, fun. I, I can never ever thank you guys enough for wanting to be on and and supporting aaron and i and doing this stuff um it is definitely a labor of love and that's why you guys are on uh because we just want to have everybody we love on this show uh and and yeah that's 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 all i got for you guys tonight so on this christmas eve's eve i can never thank you guys <laughs> enough for being on and uh putting up with our craziness and uh and joining us we this is this is an episode that i know i i, I know i can speak for both aaron and i we're gonna go back and watch a million times yeah. uh so th this is very very special for both of us uh and thank you guys so much for being on yeah thanks yeah. for having us Merry comes, Christmas. Happy after Christmas. the covid's over you'll have to come over and we'll have a barbecue in the summer yeah oh i'm so down oh so, god yeah. yes Oh, you can, some, you can have some homemade fajitas. Oh, I'll, 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 mm, I'll, I'll smoke up some something amazing too. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, we will, we will, one hundred percent. We have to do that. Absolutely. Um, I, 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 yeah, that's absolutely. So, uh, we will definitely do that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas this year. Um, yeah, you too. And yeah, we will. Uh, 
we will definitely get together in person once the all this craziness is over. Jesus <laughs> Murphy. Right. So done yeah. with it. I'm ready to see people again. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah, uh thank you guys so much for being on. And uh we will here, let's uh we'll wrap this up. I'll jump out of this recording. But um but yeah, thank again. I, I always do this at the end of every time I have anybody on, I, I just can't thank anybody enough. It's crazy to me. Like I, you know, it's just crazy to me that anybody even would be on this thing that we're doing. Cause we started it. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cool, man. It was cool. Yeah. It's yeah, nuts. Awesome. It's nuts. We're definitely, you know, you're doing it, man. <laughs> thank you so much. We're definitely going to have you back on in the future. We're definitely going to get you on with the Sassman. That's gotta happen. Yeah. That is so <laughs> happening. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. I wasn't prepared for that. Send him, 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 him the telepathic. <laughs> Tell us him the telepathic. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be outstanding. I, I've, but yeah, wheels are already turning. So, um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> But we'll hop out of this one and thank you guys again so much for being on and Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. <laughs>